Check out this clip. Guys, I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. I'm not going to cry in here. I'm not going to cry. What up? Right, guys, I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive. But I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like... I had this dress on and I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything and I had my hair out like you know guys I cut it but it wasn't like this I had it parted a little bit and so I went in and he was like looking around like oh like he was looking for somebody else and I was like okay I'm like hey I'm Tia and then he was like Tia I'm like yeah it's for me from BLK and then we he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down so I sat down I smiled and he didn't smile back at me and then he was like I don't look like my pictures <laughs> I do look like my pictures I don't photoshop anything I tell everything how it is I, I'm i gonna insert at the end of the video the picture I put in and he was like you know just being so quiet through the meal and all that he didn't even want to pay i said hey i didn't bring my money with me and then he eventually paid and then now he cashed he he sent me a request to pay for the food and that's not i just don't understand why are men like this men are evil and that's one of the things that annoys me about this. Women will blame men for everything. You catfish this dude and you mad at him because he didn't want to take you out or obviously didn't want to pay for the entire bill. Even though she said herself they went to an expensive restaurant that she couldn't afford to pay because she had to borrow some money from someone. Be that as it may, let's take a look at her dating profile. Let's see if we can make sense of all of this. Hey guys, this is my profile on BLK. Um, as you can see, it says my name, my age. Now, does this look like the same damn woman? Look at this picture. Once she looks a little bit thinner in these photos, and she obviously have on makeup and filters. Stop the cap, lady. Everything's my first picture. I said something casual. So, yeah, I'm going scrolling down. See, it says my description. I said I'm a chubby black girl. I'm a simple anime, horror movies, old R&B tracks. Let me be in charge of the aux cord. And I also said if you live with your mom, baby moms or moms, please have your own place. I don't think that's so much to ask. You know, and I'm not judgy, but it's a no for me. And please, no D pics. Don't like that. Okay. And my, I'm I love this late. question. My best excuse for being late is I'm never late. And I added a little giggle at the end to be like, you know, really cute and stuff. Now, does this look like the same damn woman for a second ago? I'm going to put her picture on the screen. This is not like the same woman. And yeah, that was my second picture, guys. They got the angles too, the I big girl angles. Best friend. My other picture, I'm easy to talk to. And then non-sexual turn-ons is when a man drives. And yeah, and I put here what I like. And I know I said I smoke and drink. I don't smoke and drink at all. I literally don't. I just put it to sound cool. To sound cool? You're a 29-year-old woman. You put on a profile, you like to smoke and drink. To sound cool? What are you, 16? What the hell is the matter with you? And I know I'm not tripping on this because let's take a look at the comments on her TikTok page where she showed her dating profile. It's not men. The women are eating her ass up. Very first comment says, now Tia. Next comment, cash at that man. The next comment, girl, I think it's time to update those pictures. Exactly. Something I said a second ago, a lot of times they use outdated pictures when they're in much better shape. She knew what she was doing. I don't know why she's playing as if she can't understand why my man had a problem with their date. She knows her angles, baby. <laughs> Tia, Tia, I was with you till you posted this. Exactly. Exactly. She knew what the hell she was doing, man. Even the comments are letting her know. Hey, guys. What's up to you? You can't fish My video was circling around um, the internet. I just saw it on Facebook. Some of my old classmates are texting me and telling me, like, oh, my God, are you okay? You okay? I'm okay. I'm sorry. I got to block y'all. But <laughs> I'm okay, okay? I don't... I'm not in a mental hospital and all that. It's okay to be vulnerable sometimes. It's okay for a black woman to cry and look dusty sometimes. Every other race can do that. Why can't I? The issue is not being a black woman. The issue is that, and I've said this several times on my podcast, is that people treat their cell phones as if they're therapist or therapy sessions. They look into the cell phone and tell the most personal things, cry and things like that. And then once it goes viral, they're looking at you crazy like, why are you making fun of me? Or why are you laughing at me? You should talk to your close friends and relatives as opposed to posting every single thing on the internet. Are you, what, 30? You too old for this. Why can't we? 
I was being vulnerable at that moment. And I'm still going to continue being vulnerable. No one's going to stop me from my vulnerability. Yes, keep posting my videos. You know what? Keep posting it. If anything, it makes it makes my videos go out in a broader range. I I feel like at first I was like hyperventilating. Oh my God, people who I haven't spoke to in years are texting me and being like, are you okay? Okay, I'm okay. It's the social media. I, I'm allowed to be vulnerable. Like, I don't have a lot of friends, so I'm going to talk to you guys. And I'm not going to doll myself up doing that. I'm going to be myself. We'll go make some more friends. <laughs> and I'm not trying to pick on this woman. I totally get it. Social media and the internet has made us more disconnected as people from a social and socializing standpoint. A lot of people just simply can't socialize. And a lot of people choose not to socialize and have their online internet friends as opposed to actual physical ones. But I believe, and it's just Theo Cooper, just a weed head talking, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I believe that it becomes a detriment to one's psyche. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Go get some real life friends, man. Krusty, uh, call it what it is. I'm gonna do that. If I have a psychic, um, a set, what do you call it? Um, Psychotic um, break? psychotic break or what do they call that yeah, I think yeah psychotic break I i'm going this. to show it this page is for vulnerability and i'm going to continue my dating life i will be posting a lot of it you know i think i got it doesn't matter i think i i think i got a date like, but i don't know i'm still going to post this nothing is going to scare me away and the people my old classmates and all that please get off my page please <laughs> Y'all didn't have, y'all haven't talked to me for years, and I know you guys are concerned. You know what? I'm sorry. Wrong tone. I know you guys are concerned, That's concerned people and everything. It's just that it was like very like people who I knew for a while are texting me. But I'm actually, the comments and the positivity reassured me that God has a way and he has a plan, and I am excited. Stop bringing God into this. He don't like you. With that being said, she seemed like a nice enough woman. And I'm not trying to beat up on her. It's just that, come on now, lady. Again, when the women are calling you out in the comments, that's when you know you have a problem. You catfish that man. You knew what you was doing. Angles on deck. Filters on deck. Filters on deck while claiming that you weren't wearing any makeup or filters, which is oddly bizarre, as if we can't see you. But she seemed like a sweet enough person. And again, I just think people need to lay off social media. And I'm a 40-year-old man. I've always said that it seems like the younger generation that doesn't know a world without the internet seems like they all they know is if you have an issue hop on x facebook instagram tiktok and spill your guts when in reality you probably should just talk to a close friend or relative but hey what the hell do i know i'm just a weed head talking on youtube tina stop the cap you know you was catfishing do better squad fall out stop the cap tina